We rolling? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. What's up, guys? For those of you that do not know us, we are The World I Knew, a trap metal band from Cincinnati, Ohio. Fuck. Today, we're going to be talking about how we got on Doom Eternal, Metal Choir. The name Swick, we do what we want, bitch. How it all started was we had a show. Where at? What was it? We were playing in Marion. Remember Marion? Marion? Okay. Marion. Marion. That night was crazy. It was a blizzard. Okay, so we left. Uh, I want to say around... What two, time did we leave? Yeah. Like 2 o'clock or something. And yeah. it was clear. The, cli- the sky was clear. Fucking, there was no snow, no rain, no nothing. Just just clear skies. Just driving. Yep. All of a sudden, we get hit by a blizzard. Halfway like, up there. Like we driving- 7 inches or some shit like that? Yeah. I mean, we were driving 35 miles all the way up for a 4-hour drive. And it took so long. So meanwhile, in the van, where we were stuck in the blizzard trying to go up north, um, Alex was on Facebook. Just scrolling like I usually do, you know, on the social media guy in the band, but, um, and I saw an ad for the Doom Eternal Music Choir, and I was like, holy shit, Wes, you gotta try it, right? And, um, he, uh, what did you I was, I, dude, honestly, I was like, there's no way how they're gonna pick us. I, I don't win anything at all, so I, I don't want, I don't want to put this in there and get my heart broken, but, yeah, um, that's right. so I was like, nah, let's not do it. So, we got, we go to Marion, to the show, we got there, arrived safe, thank God. Right. Um, Only because you drove, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> 35 miles per hour. But yeah. anyways. He's the best driver. Um, me and him, we, we decided to go to a gas station, get some beers, you know, bottle it on a low budget. You know, starving artist. Starving artist. But you do what you got to do. But anyways, went to go get some beers. Um, we shoved the beers under the trailer because we had to play a show. We had to play our set. And uh, we played our set, grabbed the beers under the trailer. Then we went in the van. And then Alex... Um, No, yeah, right. So we were drunk as fuck, right? We're sitting there. I'm sitting in the passenger seat. He's in the driver's seat. And I'm looking through the Facebook, and the ad pops up again. And I look at him like, dude, we got to apply. We just recorded Peaceful, right? We had just recorded that and put it out in January last year. Um, And then I was like, we can send this. This is our first awesome music video. So maybe they'll like it. And he was like, fuck it, dude. What do we got to lose? So we just sent it, right? Just on a whim. And um, how long did we wait for an answer? Uh... I want to say a month and a half or two months, three months, something like that. Yeah. So we waited, and um, one day I was at work. He was at work, you know. I get a notification, listen to my music. I get a notification, and I check my phone, and it's the band email. Mick Gordon emailed me. Boom. He said, I love your guys' sound, and I want you guys to be part of Doom Eternal Metal Choir. And I was like, oh, I was stuck. I was, I was stuck. And then... Um, Five minutes come past, fucking Alice comes downstairs and was like, dude, dude, did you fucking see? Did you fucking see? So and fucking we, exciting, bro, dude. Bro, we mm. were so hyped. I, I shit you not. We were so fucking hyped. We did not work a fucking single thing that day. We said, we fuck it. Nothing. We want to hang out nothing. and fucking party. So we did at work. We did yes. shit. Um, the bosses are going to see this. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> we were so fucking excited and I was just, I was just sad. Oh man. I remember coming down and telling him like, dude, holy fuck, we fucking did it. Literally the first thing I did was call my dad. Isn't He's in fucking Mexico. I'm hiding from my boss trying to talk to him. He used to play Doom with me and Max, our drummer, like when we were babies, like Doom 95, Doom 2. We used to play all the time. So obviously for us, it's fucking huge. Mick Gordon, you get to be on the Doom game, like... Man, that was so awesome. Really awesome. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So then, um, that's pretty much how we got it. Man. Yeah, because of his fate. His fate got us there. And and honestly, if it wasn't for him, I, I would not be making this video right now to explain to you guys but, how we I got mean, along. The video speaks for itself. Yeah. You know, so that was good. But thank you guys so much yes. for supporting us this far and letting us into. Uh, get opportunities like this, you know? We owe it all to you guys. Yes. More than anybody else. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Um, We're gonna do a couple more videos talking about it. The next one we'll talk about uh, what it was like for him actually being there recording. It was South by Southwest that weekend in Austin. We both went that way. We'll talk about it in the video. Yes, but stay tuned for three days of doing it.